Well, joining me now to discuss this is Ben Harris Quinney, chairman of the Bow Group, a think tank within the Conservative Party, and Don Flynn, director of Migrants' Rights Network, an NGO working in support of migrants in the UK. Welcome to both of you. Uh, we're not going to pretend that this isn't a complex and emotive issue. On the one hand, we've just heard there, you know, people want to help, they don't necessarily know how to a village in Heathrow getting a huge number of asylum seekers in their village, albeit for a short period of time. Are we doing enough? Uh, I don't think we're doing the right thing. Um, I think uh, that this crisis is going to go on and on. We're probably, at the end of it, going to be looking at the largest movement of people in human history. Um, and that is going to require a joined up effort, really, worldwide, but certainly um, across many nations to deal with the crisis. And I think, and indeed this is what the Bow Group is putting forward, that the, the best way to deal with the crisis is as close to source as possible. So to set up migrant processing centres in uh, North Africa and Turkey. Is that realistic? Um, well, I mean, uh, there are already about three and a half million um, refugees in refugee camps right the way across Africa at the moment. So in terms of looking for people who are to be processed into the refugee system, there's no shortage of uh, what needs to be done. I mean, some of these are the size of cities. The, in Kenya, the da Dabib refugee camp has got 600,000 people in it who have been there for many, many years. Um, I certainly think that we need better arrangements as far as Africa and the, and, uh, and the Middle East are concerned, but it's not the solution to the immediate problem that we've got, which is the, the obligation of the British government to provide better reception facilities. If people are really intent on getting here, they will. Can you really tackle it at source? Uh, well, I mean, I think the point of having a strong immigration policy is to say that this country will decide who uh, comes in, um, not those that, that may desperately want to, to, to come here. It has to be on the basis of, of need. Um, it has to be assessed on whether it is a genuine asylum application. We can't just base it on, well, this person really wants to come here. Um, because often, you know, the, the well, voices that shout... Well, that's what that processing centres are, are, asylum processing centres are for. <coughs> no, no, what asylum processing centres are for is to assess whether the asylum claim is genuine and then how to uh, move people that, that, when we're seeing such a large number of people come in, uh, to spread them out through, throughout a number of, of countries. And, and we've got to be very clear, I think. I think Parliament needs to be clear about what the criteria for asylum seekers are and to separate that from economic migrants, which most of these people... Are. Uh, um, Don, we saw in our initial film that the people predominantly being bussed into that village near Heathrow were, mm -hmm. were predominantly young men in that case. Mm -hmm. uh, of course there's going to be a concern that inevitably families will come over. You know, it's not as simple as, as one for one. There needs to be controls. Uh, well, well if, they're, if they're refugees and the first thing that needs to be, to, to be addressed is what needs to be done in order to provide them with a the humanitarian protection which they're they're entitled to. It's international law that says that if you've got a refugee in your territory, then you have to provide them with protection. Um, and that certainly is the case in, in, the, in the course of time. It will lead to well, no, family reunification. Uh, well, you know, that, that's the world that we live in at the moment, and we do have international obligations. It's international law. Um, but very briefly, Today, leading former judges and lawyers have signed an open letter saying, actually, we're just not doing enough. Uh, one retired judge here says that we could take 75,000 a year. Uh, well, this is a, a, a democracy, not, uh, um, not, not, not a country that, that makes policy based on what the most recent uh, contributors to the debate has said. And I, I would take more seriously the views of those people that are living in the community rather than commentators who actually have very little impact on their lives from, from what we're seeing in this huge movement of people. Um, this debate could go on, but thank you both very much indeed for coming in tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you.